North High School where tonight the Raiders take on Pulaski in conference action. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, now we got a heads up on this Pulaski group uh, last week and uh, they've got some great underclassmen. The only senior that really made an impact was a guy by the name of Jake Kalinske. Uh, what does North need to do to uh, control? Because South really controlled them well last week. Yeah, I think something's going to be a little different than a week ago where South just, you know, especially in the you know, second quarter to about the fourth quarter, just dominated the game. First quarter was kind of close, but I think it's going to be a little bit different. Let's see how Pulaski handles the pressure and the up, you know, pace of Sheboygan North, Preston, and things like that. They weren't really have to deal with that last week against South, but Pulaski's going to see that all night tonight, and we'll see how that young youth of their team handles that situation. One of the things I have for a key is handle the pressure, but I also had down that they need to provide a presence inside because North is not real big. No, they're not, and actually Pulaski's not that big either, but something that Pulaski's going to have to do is they're going to have to shoot a lot better. They're young and going on the road, uh, they, they're going to have to shoot well. Last week at South, they didn't shoot the ball well at all until late in the game when it really was out of hand. They shot under 30% basically. Another thing they're going to have to do is, you know, it's going to be that game of Temple. We talked about that a week ago. You're talking about a team here in Pulaski that scores in the 50s, low 50s, and you're talking about a team in Sheboygan North that scores upwards near 70 points. So, like a week ago, Temple's going to be important, Marty. Now, last week, Pulaski did a lot of zoning. I suspect they'll probably do that tonight. What does North need to do offensively to be successful, whether it's a zone or man-to-man? -man? I think you're going to see the same old things here. You're going to see uh, Devin Yerk trying to drive it or DVC trying to drive the basket and then kick it out over there to, to Ethan Guskey. He's going to bang some threes out there. He's been on a roll of late. The sophomore, we don't, you know, we talk about the Wickman kid who is one of the best sophomores in the state, but the Ethan Gusky just a sophomore too, and he can just flat out shoot. But let's see if Pulaski can stop drive penetration of Sheboygan North, and then if they do, see if Sheboygan North can bang them threes. So when we boil down, you know, to, to the action tonight, North needs to uh, control the inside and, and push the ball to the basket and, and press a lot. I think that's the case. How they've been doing for the last like 15 years, and it's no different tonight. And you know, for those of you who haven't seen a Pulaski team, it's a completely different type of offense. Like I said, they're going to slow things down, control Temple. They're going to pass it around five or six times. Watch for them to try to make like backdoor flex cuts and UCLA cuts. Back in the old wooden days, you had backdoor cuts and back streams and things. We'll see how North adjusts to that. But on the kick side, North's going to pick it up, press all the way, and see how many easy baskets they can create. All right, with that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the uh, starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. Yeah. You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors, exposed cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today, and with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Back at North High School, Bill Horsch, the uh, floor announcer, will go through the starting lineup, so let's listen to him. Here's your starting lineup. First, for the Red Raiders from Pulaski, number three, Jake Polinski. Number five, Tanner Van Evenhoven. Number 22, Luke Van Lannan. Number 32, Dan Melanthin. Number 33, Cody Whitman. Here's your starting lineup for the Sheboygan North High Running Raiders. Number three, Ethan Gusty. Number four, Derek Van Callaghan. Number 11, Devin York. 
Number 24, Jacob Stengel. Number 33, Brady Cassidy. Officials tonight are uh, Rick Schwartz and uh, Rick Rodell from uh, Manitowoc. There you see Coach Tom Desatel. Got some nice information on him. Marty. Oh, yeah. We didn't get an opportunity to do this before the game. Tom Desatel's record as we uh, go into tonight's action is 547 and 277. He's seventh in the state. He's climbed over uh, two other inactive coaches uh, this season. Uh, moved up, he was ninth when the season began. He's now seventh, as I mentioned. There is a coach at uh, Racine St. Catharines who is a little bit above Tom, and his team presently this year is 10-0, and 0, so Tom's going to have a tough time catching uh, him. The all-time leader in the state and still active after 43 years is Jerry Pettigrew with uh, 771 wins. And I might add, only 195 losses. Yeah, he's been there forever. And if you ever watch the state championship games, he does the uh, color color for that as well. Why, is, why aren't his teams done there? <laughs> they haven't been there for a long time. All right, Pulaski controls. Almost a steal by Van Calligan, and a good hustle on the floor is North with a tie-up. That'll be uh, North bringing it in. Pulaski. The alternate possession. Sorry about that, Marty. Pulaski 8-2. and two. They've lost two in a row. They've lost to South and Bayport, two of the top teams in the league. Bayport undefeated in first. South right behind them in second. Of course, tied with Sheboygan North, who's also 5-1 and one in league. They are 10-2, and two, ranked number 10 in state. And there you see... Uh, Pulaski in the 1-3-1 uh, zone, and uh, Yurk got to the basket, but wasn't able to get the shot off. And here's the pressure. We'll see how uh, Pulaski handles it. Guskey's right in his grill. Turnover by Pulaski. Turnovers were a problem for Pulaski last week, too, and uh, Coach Shaw for Pulaski does not need turnovers because possessions are so important when you're trying to control tempo and keep the score down low. Oh, good steal by, by Wickman. And another turnover by Pulaski going out of bounds was uh, Van Havenhoven. It's starting to roll off my tongue, Chris. <laughs> Two weeks in a row with that name. <laughs> right. Well, last week, the first two minutes at South, Pulaski struggled to get on track. They're very, very young. They are leading scorers a sophomore. Cody Wickman ranked number six best sophomore in our state. He's got 13 points a game. And then you have a freshman and another sophomore, their top three scorers. Wickman getting out on Gusky, not able to uh, get the shot off. And then Gusky commits the foul after throwing the ball away. Each team with three early turnovers, Marty. Yeah. Hasn't been very smooth. South had uh, very good success spreading the zone out and doing a lot of uh, skip passing from side to side. I actually didn't think they penetrated enough, but uh, they built up a 22-point lead before winning by about 10, I believe it was. Yeah, the, when I, a lot of the second stringers came in and third stringers, which was nice to see, and showed that Pulaski's got a lot of bench. Right. It ended up South won by 12, 59-47. And another five second call. Getting tagged with that turnover was Luke Van Lannen. I'm not so sure about that one, Marty. He wasn't really that closely guarded. I think he turned and said to the referee, he's chewing dentine. <laughs> That's five, good enough for me. I don't think he was that close. Here's Yerk. Talked a little bit about him. He's 50th in the state in scoring at 19 and a half, 19.6 a game. He's the 21st ranked junior in our state. Gusky open for just a second. His shot, oh, got a nice bounce and it rolls in. Not really rolls in as much as it bounces in. But North breaks out on top three to nothing. Van Lannan in the middle of the lane, took a nice feed, got a basket. Van Lannan just a freshman, people. 9.2 a game. He was very active a week ago. Gusky open again and couldn't get the friendly bounce. 
Stengel not able to grab the rebound, but Yurik pulls it away from Steedy. Nice pass. Side feed to uh, Cassidy, but he couldn't get it in. That was a nice pass there by Derek Van Calgan, the senior leader. North applying a lot of pressure on the guards. That's going to be another five. He doesn't get rid of it in time. Now one thing you got to watch Pulaski is their screen. Right now they're just standing around. A good feed inside. Kalinski with the easy two. Four to three. Pulaski on top. Another problem a week ago Pulaski had is their oh. good player Wickman had two quick fouls. Turnover by North. Pulaski with the ball and the lead. Coming in is Reed Conter. Conter, a very good football player. Averages about four points a game. He's just a junior. I was gonna thought you were going to say about four yards a carry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's probably better than that, Marty. <laughs> that was a good line. I got a million of them. <laughs> Steedy being pressured by Gusky, and a good cut in the middle by Wickman, but he was out of bounds when he tried to throw it off a Raider. Another turnover by the Red Raiders. We got a lot of Raiders in the house tonight. We got the Golden Raiders from North and the Red Raiders from Pulaski. Cassidy running from a guard spot. And they're having trouble getting it around Van Lannan. He's uh, very active with his hands. North's got to be a little quicker in the decision and attack. They do want to drive penetrate, but they're being a little hesitant. I think if they go attack a little quickly, things are going to open up for them. Oh, threw it right into Wickman's hands. Van Calligan trying to get it over to uh, Brady Cassidy. Sheboygan North with five turnovers already, Marty. And... Wickman to the basket, he scores and he's fouled. Nice drive by Cody Wickman. Now you might think 13 and a half points a game is not a great deal or you know, oh he's ranked sixth in the state and a sophomore or like that, but you gotta understand that Pulaski only averages 51 points a game, so he gets his share. I'll tell you, about, that was a bad fall by Gusky. That's his second. He's now on the bench, Luke uh, Billmore, in the ball game. Well, the thing with Gusky, too, he seemed to be very aggressive, Marty. And, uh, you know, when you're getting that way, you're going to you maybe pick up those cheap little fouls there. That wasn't a cheap foul. That was a hard to the basket. There you go. Inside feed to Billmore. His shot is blocked. And Pulaski comes away with it. North having a real hard time solving the zone so far. Back cut by Steedy, AZ2, nine to three. Well, we talked about uh, that. There's a travel not called. The whole Pulaski side saw that, Marty, not just yeah. you. <laughs> oh boy. Cassidy from outside the line can't get it to go. Yurk on the, on the trampoline for two, finally breaks the nine point run. That by was, Pulaski. That was a deep shot. Here we got trouble again. Pulaski does not have the uh, people to get it across here. And a 10 second call on Van Lannan. They need to flash someone to the middle of the floor or well, something. Well, not, not only that, Chris, but I mean, he's got to have a clock in his head, you know, and counting and be aware. He's never seemed to be very uh, in a hurry to get the ball across. Well, they Jeez. had the right idea, but it wasn't even close. The ball was tipped away. Wickman has it. Van Lannan on the wing, looking for Steedy inside, but uh, Billmore covering him up quite well. This is what they do. You need to be patient, and right now they're breaking down North a little bit. North started off very good on defense, but the last couple trips down, Pulaski's been very good at getting that shot. Pulaski on top, 9-5, to five, rolling down to the two minute and 20 second mark of the first quarter. That's a bad situation. 
Don't pick up your dribble, son. Look at the Bill defense Moore by being, North. Whew. And getting down the lane was Steedy, and then we get a tie up wow. as the ball went into Kalinsky. North seems to be taking a lot of chances on defense, which uh, we noticed South did that too last week. They're very physical too, North. They are right up in the grill of Pulaski. No easy pass entry. Oh. Inside to uh, Steedy, but he's fouled on the floor. Pulaski will get it out of bounds. North denied. I, go ahead, Marty. I was just going to say, North denying. Passes, passes, passes. And all of a sudden, one person breaks down. Then you got that easy opportunity under, underneath. Francis comes in for uh, Cassidy, who committed the last foul. It's been a nice addition, Marty, to this varsity. Just a junior. Averaging he's about a, nine I, points a game. You know, or, I've me, watched eight him points. play. You know, he's gotten more confident. And he's someone that uh, I think Tom has uh, become more confident in putting him in also. Yeah, been a very important bench player. Good help by Conter. He makes the steal. Inside to Francis. His shot is blocked from behind by Wickman. I believe that's his second block of the night. There was that pass into the middle, Chris, you were talking about to break the press. North continuing into man-to-man -man defense. They trail nine to five. Lean-in shot is up and good by Van Hevenhoven. And he's gonna get a free throw. You know, North's doing a real nice job on denying on the perimeter but not as good of a job inside, and Pulaski's dumping it in there and getting a couple opportunities now. Francis commits the foul. It's the fourth team foul on the Golden Raiders. The Red Raiders of Pulaski only have one, and they lead it 11 to five so far. Stays that way, and North throws it out of bounds. Unforced turnover. Holy cow. They got a touchdown and extra points worth already. <laughs> Curtis Larson coming in. Not a good uh, run for uh, Reed Conter that time. North in a zone right now it looks like on the inbounds play. I'm Pulaski, I'm taking it out. It's under a minute. Coach Shaw barking out the signals there. As I mentioned a week ago, if you don't know this, Dave Shaw played basketball at Mantuak for his dad, who was a longtime coach there at Mantuak. Oh, what a breakdown. Back cut, but the uh, easy put in by Melanthin was missed. Biltmore. Wow. Tried to uh, get a shot off. He got the ball inside, and then he gets fouled. And <laughs> it didn't look like much of a foul, did it? Well, I didn't like <laughs> down on this end. There's a little push in the back down here by by Bill Moore, excuse me, Larson. And then they don't call that. And then down here, they call that one. That's a tough break if you're for Pulaski. Luke Billmore puts in the first free throw. That makes it 11 to six with 28.9 seconds left in the first quarter. That one rims out. And then stolen away, Yurk lean in is fouled and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Big change of pace here. You had a chance to go up 13 to uh, what five, it was 13 to five, then you get a free throw. Miss it, get an offensive rebound and turn it over so North can crawl back right here. Got to hit a couple here, Devin. He's a good one. The old left-hander with the soft touch. Very nice crowd tonight, Marty. Yeah, you mentioned that when we were doing the uh, getting ready to do the opening, and you're uh, absolutely right. And it seemed like there were even more people, but the band left all their instruments up there. Yeah, it's alumni band and parent band and band people. 
Nice thing they do here at North. It's also a uh, kids' night. Wear your basketball jersey, you get in free. You didn't wear yours? Uh, I am getting it washed. It got all wet this afternoon <laughs> after playing. <laughs> Still waiting to see the ball for a shot. There's a nice steal. Billmore got it. And that's the quarter. That shot will not count. At the end of one, Pulaski 11, North 10. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. In JV action tonight, uh, Sheboygan North beat Pulaski 55 to 49. In uh, freshman action, Pulaski won. We didn't get a score on that. But uh, there you see the score as we uh, start the second quarter. A Little bit of a run at the end there, Chris. Uh, North scored the last five points of the quarter. All to, under, uh, <coughs> excuse me, all under like 45 seconds, Marty. Right, yeah, exactly right. Pulaski had a nine point run. North uh, Ethan's Gu Ethan Gusky hit a three, first points of the game, and then uh, Pulaski ran off nine in a row. Uh, stolen away by Wickman, and a layup is good. That one is by Alger Fieser. It's the eighth turnover for Sheboygan North against a zone. Shot is blocked by Kalinski. Evan Hooven being pressured by Yurk. Steedy charges right into the uh, North player. And a uh, good thing that uh, Van Calligan's a football player. He can take those kind of hits. For Steedy, that's his second personal. That was a good call. Now Coach Shaw's, Shaw's not happy about that, but DVC was right there. That's the ninth turnover for Pulaski now. Not a clean game, nope. that's for sure. Pulaski's shooting real well. They're five of seven shooting. Ay, ay, ay. Well, they have no idea what they're doing out there. I mean, you can just see it. Who's gonna go where? Where am I gonna throw it? I mean, they, they, they're standing there. They don't do any penetrating. Have, I don't think they had a guy in the middle of the zone trying to get it in there. They just seem very disorganized. Well, they're going to have to rely, you know, when you, that happens, you'd rely on your defense and your fast break baskets, and that's what North's done, and that's because that's why they're only down by three, Marty. It could be so much worse. Yeah, but uh, they're going to have to solve the zone, that's for sure. And you can't just play a game and not uh, have a semblance of offense. Inside the Kalinski, good defense by uh, Stengel, but Kalinski got the rebound and puts it in. The lone senior, 15 to 10. And Cassidy was at the high post and all sinks down. You can't just stand and hold the ball. You got it. That's good. Quick passing. Yurk from outside can't get it in. And a steal by Bill Moore. Van Calligan gets the layup off the nice feed. Turnovers are just killing Pulaski. And another one. Yurk has it on the bust out into Van Calligan. His layup is no good, but Yurk high above the rim, tips it in, but they're gonna call basket interference. No basket. The ball never cleared the cylinder. That's what the official's saying. <laughs> but <laughs> we might get a look at that again before the end of the night. I don't know about that.
Here you're going to see it. Ball off the rim. Way it off was, the rim. Yeah, that was a bad call. Good replay. Thanks, Scott. And a timeout by Pulaski. They were close to being called for another 10 second violation. It's a full timeout, Scott. North down 15 to 12 with uh, 5.43 remaining in the second quarter. Kenny, I'm going to have a table of multiplication, my dear. Prof and trap. Trap and tennis. Trap and tennis. Bujak, Mariama, the Hamman Gunyo Wah. Back at uh, North High School's Acuity Field House, where uh, Pulaski giving North a, a real battle here tonight. You know, South got it solved, you know, like you had mentioned in the second quarter and then throughout the rest of the game for the most part. Uh, North is just not solving that zone so far. And you've made a good point, you know, if it wouldn't be the fast break and, and getting out and running, they'd uh, be in real big trouble. There's some future Raiders. A, a Witter I know over there, a Walters over there. And the gang. And <laughs> the gang. Spanky in our gang. Oh, Cassidy need to rotate up a little quicker. Yep. Kalinski with a good save. Got it out to uh, Alger Fieser. It's a good matchup, Stengel and uh, Wickman. Now Cassidy switches out on him. I'll tell you, the defense for North, I'm very impressed. They are all over the defender. Look at Stengel, he's right there. And the offensive player slipped by Yurik but missed the uh, easy shot. That was uh, Kalinski. So North, in a sense, dodged a bullet there. Got him. Oh, that was a great pass. Stengel on a good putback, but he couldn't get the easy one in. Ball's gonna go on Yurik. And I got caught the end of that replay. Couldn't really tell. One, two, three, four. Fifteen fall on North. Pulaski has four. And a little bit of a break here up. Pulaski pulls it back out, which is uh, the normal course for them. They're not gonna run the break a whole lot. I just think North's making Pulaski play a little faster. Even though they got the lead, the pace and the tempo, well, I think it's pretty high and ready for North. It's just the fact that too many turnovers for North and Pulaski both. Yeah, really. And Landon has it on top, being guarded by Cassidy. Yerk now guarding uh, Wickman. 22, Van Landon's a freshman. That's very good decision making. Uh, nice block by Stengel, Van Hevenhoeven cutting to the basket, got a nice feed. But the Raiders, Johnny on the spot to keep it from going in. Wickman on a quick pass to Alger Fieser, his rainbow jumper is no good. Saved, and a little pinball in the air, and North comes away. And Callaghan put the head down, ran through the line, and scored the basket. Coast it, to coast. There you go. Let's run the fast break. 15 to 14, Pulaski by one. Van Hevenhoeven. Trying his curly kneel. <laughs> Didn't work so well. <laughs> Remember when curly kneel used to go down the side and just slide on his feet and keep the dribble? Here he is. Whoop. Curly kneel. But curly kneel could do it. On the alternating possession, Pulaski is going to bring it in. Curly Neal never played for North High. He was a Harlem Globetrotter. Oh, they're At least not Sheboygan North. They're going to get Cassidy, and that actually was a good call. That was not an accident. Like last week when, uh, who was that? Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> it's two on Cassidy. That means he's 
done for the half. Gusky has been sitting out since about uh, four minutes into the first quarter, maybe even less than that. He had two falls early, hasn't seen the floor since. Uh, there you see Bill Moore, Gusky behind him, and then uh, Cassidy. Three thirty. Freshman. Oh, nice drive to the basket by Van Lannen for two. And you're right, that was a good play. North down three. Whoop. One senior on the roster for Pulaski. Think they're gonna compete next year? Oh, that'll be tough. Van Hevenhoven trying to dribble it in, but uh, stopped by Yurik. Van Lannen down the lane, got it to roll in. He's got four points in a row, and it's 19 to 14. Contra looking to penetrate and get it over to Francis, but couldn't, and then uh, North turns it over for uh, umpteenth time, it seems like, this, uh, this half. How about an even 10? Oh, Stengel with the hold. And Kalinski breaks free underneath and scores an easy basket. And it's 21 to 14 and North calls a timeout. Six point run here by Pulaski. It's a full timeout with uh, 221 remaining in the half. We'll take a short break. Hey, there's some more junior Raiders to be. Well, that guy's got his North shirt. No, that's Michael. I can't remember his last name. He, uh, I think he's a Pigeon River boy. Anyway, there's Coach Desatel and his Raiders, and uh, boy, they need to get that uh, zone offense cooking. Yeah, right now. A hey, One, yeah, Gusky back in the game, number three. And uh, why not? They got to get somebody hot out there. He's just one of two tonight from three. Sheboygan North's only taken three point three three point attempts. I think Yurk had the other one, didn't he? Uh, Is yep. That one. No, uh, Cassidy. Cassidy had that long bomb. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Inside uh. feed to Francis is tipped out of bounds. Good rotation that time by uh, Van Lannen to uh, knock the pass away. Ethan Gusky nails a three. They left him open for just a second and that's all it took. He's got six points, 21 to 17 now. That was a good coaching move. Put him in and he makes the basket from three. Just don't commit a foul. Good trap, good trap. Gosh. Inside feed, oh Wickman, he's tough. Francis didn't rotate, that was the problem. And uh, they're gonna get Cassidy back in the game. He's gotta deny that pass. Coach doesn't tell saying, you gotta deny that pass. Yeah, well. <laughs> You got him trapped there. You got to front that and easy entry. Yurk's uh, layup attempt is no good. Cassidy trying to stop Wickman. And he was out of bounds. Van Calligan was hoping that uh, Cassidy could stop him and he could steal it from behind, but uh, wasn't quite able to do that. But North did get the turnover anyway. There's your drive penetration. Yurk puts it up and in. 23 to 19, 110 remaining in the first half. North has not played a good half of basketball. Well, neither has Pulaski for that matter with all the turnovers. Right. 
Pla uh, Wickman can't get it to go, and Stengel tips it out of bounds. Well, they just got to be a little smarter, Marty. They got they got the traps and they got the right ideas. They just got to deny those uh, entry passes down low and those backdoor cuts. You got to just think a little bit better. You know, know what to do. You've been taught all week. You just got to take care of it here on the floor. Van Hevenhoven back in the ball game. North uh, sitting in a 1-3-1 zone on the inbounds play. I'm Pulaski. I'm trying to get this out. Back yourself up. The last 50 seconds were bad for you in the first quarter. Skip pass. Oh, good passing by the Red Raiders, but uh, Kalinski and good trap. Wickman didn't want to shoot it. That was a good trap by North. 20 seconds remaining. That was a good decision there. By Van and Hooven. Just running that little curl. Van Callion, quick hands, and he's gonna get call or Van Lannan's gonna get called for a foul. I almost thought they were gonna call a double dribble on uh, DVC. Seven seconds, Marty. Seven seconds left. Actually, 6.9. But we'll round it up. <laughs> Eric has it. Oh, mugged at half court, and then he throws it away. Ay, ay, ay. Half court shot off the front of the rim, and we're at halftime here at Sheboygan North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where Pulaski has a four point lead, 23 to 19. passed away last year. It was hard at first when I found out how sick he was. The doctor suggested hospice care at home. Hospice helped so much. He came home and that was wonderful. They helped me take care of him. They made his last months comfortable, pain-free. We were able to find some joy till the very end. Hi, I'm Reed Swanson. Racing has been a part of me and my family for as long as I can remember. I had to make tough choices early on to get to the top. It took hard work and dedication, but it's those tough choices that helped me prepare for challenges I would face as a cup driver. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force.
that. So, be Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, some first half scoring. First for uh, Sheboygan North, Gusky and Yurk each had six. Van Calligan had four, and uh, Luke Billmore off the bench had three. For uh, Pulaski, they were led by Luke Van Lannen and Jake Kalinske. They each had six also. Uh, leading scorer, Cody Wickman had five. And then chipping in with two each was uh, Casey Alger Fieser, Tanner Van Havenhoven, and uh, Jordan Steedy. Uh, Red Raiders lead it by four, 23 to 19. Uh, hey, there you see a couple of my mates. Gene Tewinkle, the guy in the gray hair in front, and then Ron Nitus. And behind Gino is uh, <laughs> Peter Matthias. I'll tell you, Gino never passed the ball either. He never missed, he never found a shot that he didn't like. <laughs> and I know because I played with him for a couple of years. Great guy, though. Anyway, what does North have to do to uh, get this game, you know, in their favor? Wow, they're going to... Well, one of the things that... Let's look, talk about Pulaski first. They are uh, first in defensive scoring at 38 points a game. Well, North's halfway there at 19. So I still like creating turnovers and getting easy opportunities. I like what you were saying throughout that first half, Marty. they got to drive, turn the trade a little bit, and then kick that out there. Too much of... Catching the ball and looking for entry passes. We need more swings, maybe perhaps around the outside. Flash to that high post, you know, that brought the free throw line there. And it wasn't very it often where North brought it on one side and then swung it back to the other side. No. Uh, for the half, Marty, uh, North was eight for 19, shooting two of four from three. Uh, Pulaski, a very good half, 11 of 18 shooting. They just took two, two threes as well. Pulaski did have 13 turnovers, North 11. Uh, so North's creating the turnovers, they just gotta take the opportunity on the other end. But when you're only getting 19 shots in a hole. For a North well, team, yeah, that's pretty half. unusual. Yeah. yeah, so you know that, I'll tell you what, Coach Shaw has gotta be happy for what, what's happened with him and his squad. Here's our, oop, uh, here's some dry penetration. And Callian tried to take it. Uh, Cassidy stripped it away and put it up and in. Good play by Brady. And a five second count. Girls score from up north. Pulaski girls leading the north girls by eight. Pulaski's got an undefeated squad up there for girls as well. It looked like Wickman had a piece of uh, Gusky's shirt as he tied him up. Don't come in the foul, Ethan. I mean, he is right there. Look at his hands on there. You gotta watch your hands. Van Hevenhoven uh, handling the ball pretty good. Wickman good feed inside to Van Lannen. Reverse wow. layup for an easy two. Impressed. Pulaski continuing in the uh, zone. There's that high post. Yeah, but how long did it take him to get that over there? Now Gusky's open. See, they're standing instead of swinging it. Don't like that. Tip in by uh, Yerk is good. But uh, Chris, I think you bring up a good point. Do we want our center shooting threes from the corner? No, they don't have that extra skip pass. You get those couple passes and you got Gusky in the corner for that three instead of Cassidy. Dusky tight defense on top. There's an interesting shot there by Eric Wiesman. Richard Bartson up here with us doing this shot. Scott Mailoff in the truck. He told us the last time he's not spinning dials in there. But we'll call him dials anyway. Yerk pushing hard to the hoop. Inside feed is uh, picked off by Kalinski. Actually, he didn't have to do a whole lot of picking. The pass went right to him. 
right idea, just not uh, get it to the white shirt. Melanthin posting up inside, didn't get it. And there comes oh, Wickman, he's boy. wide open and uh, creeping it in was Tanner Van Hevenhoven and uh, not good defense by uh, the Northsiders. He said it's good on the perimeter, but the down on the baseline, Pulaski's got it handled. They got it figured out. North's got to do a better job. Well, one of the things that happens, Stengel trying to get it in on the trampoline, gets the rebound and puts it up and in. You got to play defense before the ball gets in there. I mean, that's part of the problem. You know, yeah, they get on him when, once they got it down deep, but uh, that's not good enough. Wickman with an easy two. He's just got seven points, Marty. DVC from deep. Can't get it. Kalinski gets the board. Van Hevenhoven, long feed to Van Lannen, and then he pulls it back out. Not worried yet, Marty. They're only down by four. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> the way the ball game's going, they should be down by more points, but uh, you're right. Couple quick turnovers and easy baskets. You know, if it gets to be eight or ten, and then... Pulaski has the ball, then you got to worry, but. Yeah, we're going to get a foul called on the drive. I think that's going to go on Jake Stengel. Nope. Cassidy picks up the foul. That's his third. So far, one each quarter. But, Coach, Mike Martin just told me one each quarter. That means I won't fall out till overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not take it that far. Let's just win it in regulation. Oh, Wickman with a good move inside. Oh. Couldn't get it to go. And uh, Stengel on the save attempt, but the ball bounced out of bounds before uh, Reed Conter was able to uh, gather it in. 29-25, 4.34 remaining in the third quarter. Pulaski on top. They've led basically the entire game. And uh, Kalinski was wide open. Yurk on a driving layup scores on a nice pass from uh, Derek Van Calligan. North only down two now. Yep. No way. Wickman, no good. Van uh, Yurk with a good rebound. Got the inside position. Pace good. Pass quick, 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 quick. Oh, that's poor Pulaski defense. Stengel cutting through the middle. Got wide open and scores and ties up the ball game. And Pulaski calling the timeout this time. It's a full timeout, but North has tied it up. Hi, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre, and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help, too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did. Adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Sometimes I want more. Back at North High School, it's uh, been a 10-6 quarter so far in North's favor, and uh, they've turned that uh, four-point deficit and been able to tie up the game. What's North doing, Chris? Well, they're, they're, I like their pace. I like to get to create the turnovers, to get the rebound, you get yourself down the floor. You saw DVC get the rebound one time, go coast to coast. Another time, you got a rebound or a turnover, he dishes it off to, to Yerk for an easy one. You notice him. 90% of North's baskets are all on transition. And, uh, you know, n basically almost nothing in their setup. Finally, they got one down to Stengel there. But basically, it's all been on transition layups and things like that. But Pulaski wants to break you down. It's still the pace of Pulaski, but that doesn't mean you can't beat these guys. Steedy has it being guarded by uh, Gusky. A little push-off not called. Boy, I'll tell you, he sure rides him. Van Lannan looking inside, but didn't uh, chance it. Probably a good decision to keep it outside. It's one one foul in the in the half, Marty. Four minutes in. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, and especially the way they're playing. Yeah, it's, and I like it that way. Let them play. Rolling down to the 3:30 mark of the third quarter, North has tied it up, and uh, <laughs> that's all your fault, Chris. 
<laughs> Conter commits the foul. Well, I guess they got to call one. Just his first. Second team foul this half by uh, Sheboygan North. Uh, back cut, Steedy. Oh. Shot is no good, and they're going to get uh, Conter with another foul, blocking foul. It's another good thing that Sheboygan North does. I mean, they deny every inbound pass. They make Pulaski work all the time. There is no rest when you're playing Sheboygan North, and that's what makes them so successful. Steedy with a nice uh, follow through and a free throw there. Another sophomore. They're young, no doubt about it. And uh, you had mentioned this last week. They're going to be a uh, force to be reckoned with uh, the next couple of years. Contra on a nice scoop inside to Yurk, gliding to the basket. He scores and he's fouled. Ho oh, ho, nice play there by the Raiders. Devin teeding up. He's four for his last four. He's six for 10 from the floor. See if uh, Devin can finish off the uh, three-point play. He does. 13 points now for uh, Devin. Very good free throw shooter. North on top the first time since early in the first quarter, 32-31. Well, Steedy just kind of getting in the way. <laughs> Gusky has him. Uh, Stengel with a, that's, that steal attempt is what cost North the easy basket. Because uh, Stengel got himself out of position and allowed uh, an opening inside. No look passes, tipped out of Ooh. bounds. <laughs> Good try by uh, Van Calligan. Gave his best, uh, was it Larry Bird or uh, Magic Johnson? <laughs> Combination of the two. Good nice. cut to the lane. Layup is no good. Van Calligan on the putback. Got it. DVC just doing the little things. 34-33, oh, Steedy wide open inside. Where's the defense? Gotta get back. Wow, and they scored quickly, that's so rare. Yeah, you're right. Their first fast break points of the night. Scoring's picking up, Marty. That's good the penetration we want, but not oh. the turnover. Bill Moore in the ball game. 13th turnover for North. Well, that slowed down a little bit for sure. Alger Fieser had it in the on the wing. Now Steedy on top. One point game. Pulaski just leading by that little point. Under two minutes. Now good help defense by Van Calligan. Gusky guarding Van Lannen closely. Wow. And chops away. Got to move your feet. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> you ride them, ride them, ride when you got that hand on the hip and then you grab with the other. Play good D. Fourth turnover, third foul on Gusky. Fourth team foul. North down, 35-34, and Pulaski has the ball. Five second count, and that's about the third one tonight, Chris, on uh, Pulaski North. And you, I, you made a great point uh, during the last break, and uh, North is just uh, pressuring everything. But now we got to play some offense, make those turnovers hurt. Oops! <laughs> Look like pretty he close. Looked right. like he traded uh, pivot feet there, but lefties always get away with that stuff, Marty. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Speaking of the lefty. Oh, tip up by Yurik, no good. 
Alger Fieser with the rebound. Wickman going hard to the hoop. Big Can't miss. get it in and then over the back. Big miss there by North. Foul is on Van Calligan. He got uh, Wickman on the way in. That's the reason for the miss apparently. Wow, I didn't see that, Chris. Wow. Wickman is going to go to the line. Don't I give him that. I did not see that. But uh, Derek uh, didn't uh, make any faces or anything, so you know we just assume he got him, and here we're going to take a look at it look again. Look at how far behind he is. Uh, oh, that's a bad call. Great mm -hmm. replay. If he can't make that layup, he doesn't deserve two free throws. 37-34 now, Pulaski. Under a minute left in the third quarter. Wow, that was a tough call for DVC. Two big calls now against North. The tip basket by Yurk, and now those two free throws. Under a minute, Marty. Get in there, DVC. Gusky Ooh. wanted to shoot it, but uh, Steedy with uh, good cover-up defense. Uh-oh. I was a little worried about Ethan. Yeah, North uh, trying to penetrate and push it back out for the three attempt, but uh, the defense by Pulaski has been solid this uh, this trip. Fieser with the foul, it's his first. Looks like Coach Desitel wants one play. They're going to hold it for one. 25 seconds remaining in the quarter. North down three, a three-pointer could tie it. They're in a 2-3 zone this time. A little different look than their 1-3-1. One, one. Six, five, four, three. Deep, Yurk shot, no good. Rebound, Billmore shot is gonna be too late. And we're at the end of three quarters of play with uh, Pulaski up 37-34. Sometimes I want more information about what's in a video game. Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information yes. about the ratings and rating summaries, go to okay. esrb.org well, slash mobile. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see Coach Tom Desitel talking to the troops, trying to give them that uh, instruction that's gonna get them back on top. They did grab the lead. They tied it at 29, then went down 31-29. Yerk made a three-point play, a basket and a free throw. North grabbed the lead at 32-31. Pulaski came right back, scored on a Van Lannen basket, and then the Raiders came back and scored after that on a Van Calligan basket to make it 34-33 for their second lead of the quarter, but then uh, Pulaski finished out the quarter with uh, four straight points. Well, North picked up the pace that half, they, excuse me, that quarter. They shot 14 times, they were 50%, but the problem was Pulaski was five of eight. And there, 16 for 26, shooting well tonight. Oh, they gotta catch one. Tip is no good. Putback is up and good, and fouled is Jacob Stengel. He was on the trampoline that time. North is was 0-3 of their threes, and that's another miss by DVC, but something that Sheboygan North is doing a good job is that they're getting second shot opportunities. We that's don't see that a lot from North because uh, usually the teams are uh, Taller than them, but uh, Stengel is uh, getting it done tonight. That's the fifth offensive rebound of the half. <laughs> and that pulls them to back to even just like that. Great basket there by Stengel. Let's see if they can get over the hump, get a steal in the lead. North in his own defense now. I'll tell you, Steedy is wide open. Back cut by Van Lannen, and he kicks it back out. Looked like Steedy was open again over here if he'd have 
went out the opposite way. See, the thing with Steedy though, he's only 5'10", and to be under the basket like that, you're gonna have to really get it up fast, otherwise those tall timbers of uh, North will be in there. Now I'm in trouble, now they're in trouble. Wickman got it up and in off a nice pass. I was worried about that, Marty. 39-37. What a fast game, Marty, it's not even 8.30. Yeah. Again, North looks a little confused on what to do against the zone. Yeah, I just don't, why is, ah, oh, never mind. And he, again. That's what I like. Oh, tough well, break. Yeah, they could have kicked it out. Ethan Gusky was open on the opposite side, but uh, never came out to him. I thought DVC got whacked there. Pulaski up by two, 39-37. Rolling down to the six minute mark. Steedy on a cut through the lane. Got caught a little off balance. Yerk driving to the hoop. His layup attempt is no good. But oh, North comes wow. away with it. But it was on the line. Good call. Good call. I thought North got a break there. And I didn't think he was gonna call it. Yeah, good ice, Chris. I didn't see that at first. I mean, I knew it was close, but I didn't think it hit the line. But what do I know? I'm an umpire. Here's a turnover time. We need a turnover. Come on, boys. Come on, work, work. Time out, Pulaski, just before the five-second count. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. I think that's their third, Marty. Yeah, it's the third one I've marked on my sheet. All right, we're right on target then. One thing. Here's the replay. Yep. Yeah, looks like it probably touched the line. I'll well, tell you what, the replay. Rick Rodell right. is right there. Yeah, the replays have been outstanding, Marty. Really? Hey, Scott, you're the man. Well, we got, you know, it's a combination, too. We got good camera work. and Richard Bartson up here by us. Eric Wiesman down on the floor, giving you that shot. Scott Mailoff in the truck, Chris Wright, the color man, and I'm the play-by-play -play guy, not Ron Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rick Rodell. Uh, Rodell and Schwartz are uh, both from Manitowoc. Rick Rodell, very good uh, umpire as well. Yeah, he worked uh, several games for the A's this summer and uh, worked that military all-star game, which uh, was a good big job. deal. Good job by Gusky there, beating to the spot. That's the big difference. You keep your hands down, you move your feet. Yeah, good point. And there's a little push off by Wickman. Yep, you don't like that being, nobody likes the guys right in you. It's how you can handle it. Makes you a good basketball player. Gotta be strong with the ball. It's very tough. Steedy looks the guy that uh, could be uh, pressured quite a bit. He doesn't look quite as strong as some of his friends. <laughs> Wickman with a nice recovery. Rolling down under five and a half left in the ball game. North down two, and Pulaski working, making North work on defense. Wickman, they haven't had one yet. Is no good. Very short on that. Sam Decker and Todd Decker in the house tonight. That's nice that they came oh. over. Good hands by Melanthin. Oh. That was not a good call because fix the it. ball was, fix it. was tipped away. They're gonna fix it. No, they're not. How can the ball get tipped away and then get called for an over and back when the other team does the tipping? Somehow that just doesn't seem right. Well, I thought he was three. gonna I thought he were gonna fix it and because he was running over. Oh well. I yeah, thought he was coming over. That's a Yeah, it's hard to tell off of that replay, but uh Oh, that's a great flop. What an acting job. <laughs> but we'll take it. <laughs> Cassidy fell like <laughs> half a second before he got there. <laughs> and Coach Shaw is explaining that. And you knew they were going to get the next call. <laughs> that's a tough break for Pulaski, but we need it. We're down a bucket. Under five minutes. Well, we're down two calls, too, because they've gotten three, and we've only got one. Gusky from way downtown couldn't get it in. And uh, that's Gusky's just Wickman 
got the strong rebound and made a nice pass into Van Lannen who's fouled on the uh, layup attempt. And Pulaski is going to have an opportunity to go up four again. Ethan Gusky, that was just his first three-point attempt of the half. He's got four in a game. He's two for four from out there. You could tell he was suffering from withdrawal because he was a good 10 feet oh, yeah. beyond the line when he put it up there. Big miss, so every free throw is big now, boys. They Both were uh, five for six. And he missed two. Get the ball, boys. Whew. Two big misses. North, you got to go. Got to take advantage. Well, this is the part of the game that uh, North has had problems with, and that has been half-court offense. Now swing again. Gusky, hit it. Okay, now reload it. defense yep. by uh, Pulaski. But that'll be there again, Marty. Just like Yerkes here. So you just one extra pass. Good pass inside to Cassidy for an easy two. Stengel keeping his wits about him. Coach Shaw wants the uh, same call, that same offensive call that he just got on the other end. 39-39. He's not going to get it. Under four minutes left in the ball game. Pulaski uh, playing very well tonight for the most part. Causing a lot of problems for North on the half court. Oh and, my! And uh, Steedy does get called for the offensive foul and rightfully so. He knocked Gusky back and he lost his balance. You almost have to call that, Chris. Well, that's part of that. You're out constantly in their grill, constantly drives them loony, and now you push off, and guess what? You're the one that just got caught. How about the lead, boys? Now you got to swing, swing, swing. Gusky's open. But oh, oh. Throw the ball over there. They not Crying out loud. Been their problem all night. They just don't make that extra quick skip pass. There's a bucket. A good block oh. that time. He's got to go hard to the... Just Van Hevenhoven with a good block. I think Yerk is going to get the foul. Now Yerk's frustrated as he's banging. A good back cut. Kalinski got uh. it up and in. I thought he was way too deep for that one, Marty. This just grinds on you. I know it's a grinder tonight for the most part. Well. North probing. Got to get out of the lane. There he is. There Yerk he is. Drains it. A three-pointer for Devin Yerk. I believe that's his first three of the night. 42-41, North on top. That's correct. A lot of pressure. Van Callion with a steal, but uh, North not able to come up with it. And we get a timeout by Pulaski, but I don't know that anyone had possession. Good hustle by DVC. We're going to have a 30-second timeout, Marty. You know, they finally got that extra pass, and you found Yerk. Look at DVC. Oh, yeah, he had it. That was a good call. But they finally made the extra pass. He got one of your shooters. You either got to get it to Yerk or DVC or Gusky. Finally took that extra pass, and you found Yerk in the corner, and it gave you the lead finally. The thing is, he had the extra pass. I think it was the trip before that. You know, and then Derek never threw it over to uh, Gusky here on our side. He was open in the corner. It's like, uh, you know, he just never saw him. You, know, you got to look over there. North does have the lead. There's 2.26 remaining in the ball game, and uh, it's their third lead of the second half. But if we were to take total time in terms of who had the lead, Pulaski's got the big advantage. They got the T.O.P., time of possession. But I'll tell you what, big play here for Pulaski. They got to come down and score. Otherwise... The screws are really tightened on them because all of a sudden North's got the ball and uh, you know they're a very good free throw shooting Three, team and that really four, adds big things for five. Sheboygan North. And Heavenhoven breaking the uh, pressure. Just to stop. Up. I'll tell you, you get a stop here, it's huge. We rolled to 209. Wickman has it on top being guarded by Stengel. He's the guy you gotta watch. Keep your eye on the ball, don't let them back cut you. And get a foul on North. No. No? Wow, three straight offensive fouls on Pulaski. Steedy, his fourth, second of the quarter. 
That's three straight offensive fouls on Pulaski on the last three trips. He averages 10.8 a game. You know, he's one of their top scorers. He doesn't have much tonight. Two points. Two on two for uh, Pulaski now. They're out of that 1-3-1, uh, giving North a little different look. Van Lannan very aware of where uh, Gusky is behind him. Sometimes what works is when you screen against the zone and uh, prevent that guy from recovering to your shooter. 120 left in the ball game. North content to uh, just stand with it and Pulaski just sitting in the zone. Very interesting. North going to make them come out and play them man-to-man. -man. Gusky coming out. We're under a minute. First man-to-man -man by Pulaski all night. Oh! That, well, uh, I didn't think he had him guarded close enough that time, but it uh, doesn't matter what I think. Alger Fieser comes in for Steedy. Another turnover, that was a big one. But North has the lead, 52.4 seconds remain. And a little too closely, stepping over the line to uh, guard the inbounder. You gotta stay back. Keep your hands active, but uh, don't reach over. Well, thank you very much, now we can double team. <laughs> Think what you wish for here. Pulaski. Good play though, Van. Oh, that kid's tough. He's smart. Van Landen has it. Almost stolen away, and Gusky did create the turnover. Contesting the pass to uh, Van Hevenhoven, and then it tipped off of his hands out of bounds. North has it back. 47.6 seconds left, and they lead in the ball game. Alger Fesser back in, because Steedy has four fouls, Marty. Good play okay. by Coach Shaw. 18 turnovers now for Pulaski. Ugh. Don't run into each other, boys. Van Lannan guarding Yurk, and then <laughs> he commits the foul. And once again, you and know. And that'll put uh, Yurk on the line with the one and one, Chris. Well, if there's somebody I wanted to line, it would be number 11. And Coach Shaw, you know, you got plenty of time to pick guys out. Your team needs to know who to, you know, basically foul or not. But uh, Yurk's not the guy. Devin is uh, one for one tonight. Hey, right. I think this is. Uh, did you? Were you paying attention how I did that? Kind of like when you're watching golf. Yerk is now two for two, going for number three in a row from the line. And he got it. North with a three-point lead, 44-41, and those were huge, Chris. Well, I just like the fact once North got the lead, uh, what is Pulaski, how are they going to counter? I, with their good free throw shooting and things like that, I think it's going to be tough for Pulaski. They haven't hit a three-pointer all night. <laughs> they are 0 for 4. Does they're, that mean they're overdue? <laughs> no, I, I hope just, not. You know, they don't take a lot. They're, they're more the grinded out type of team. And I'll tell you what, the screws are really tightening on Pulaski right now. Well, and, and North has been pressuring them all game, and... Uh, you know, they've had a lot of trouble with the pressure, and hopefully North will keep that up. I'm sure they will. Can't commit a foul, though. You don't want to put them on the line, that's for sure. And if I'm Pulaski, I'm not fouling Yerk, that's for sure. No. And those were pressure packed, not just because it's a close game, but because he's got to make the first to get the second. Man, he's good, though. He's Look out for the deep pass. Van Hevenhoven gets it. Yerk has him. They're going for it. Wickman nails a three and ties up the ball game. Who we'll called timeout here? It's Pulaski, thank you very much. It is. Full timeout, Marty. Well, if we're going to take a full timeout, we'll take a short break and come right back. Captain. Seems that way. But they're here. We have 
have an intruder. I thought you guys were cleaning out here. Oh, we are. We're, um, sweeping. Yeah, for space aliens. Yeah, for space aliens. Well, good luck with that. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. Chris and I are up here arguing whose fault it was that he made the three-pointer. I said, Chris, that's all your fault. He says, well, you were the one that said they were due. <laughs> Pulaski's out of timeouts. I don't understand the point of their little situation. I mean, they have basically, they're just in for this for the uh, overtime, I guess. 30.1 seconds remaining. What do you do if you're north? Do you run it down? Well, we've seen them in this situation a number of times, especially against South, and it seems like they always do run it down, and... They haven't had a lot of luck to that. Maybe that's going to change tonight. 20 seconds. Too much space between. They're not going to call a five second on that defense. Yeah, I'd, I'd force Yurt your to the right. 10 seconds. But you're going to let him go left. Lean in. Good. But no, they're going to call a block. How can you not call it the basket? He's shooting the ball. Oh. <sighs> I don't believe that is a bad call. Excuse me. I'll tell you what, I thought Kalinske was solid right there. I mean, he well, he was moving. And that's a basket. That's a basket and a foul. Ay, uh, you're right, Marty. York's gonna get two. We're all tied up. There's 7.7 .7 seconds remaining. You know, if we watch the replay at uh, Coach Shaw, you're going to see that that was a clear block, and it should have been a basket. Pulaski, like we said before, though, is out of timeout, so. 19 points for Yerk, looking for number 20. Work them up the floor, boys. Work them up the floor. They got to get it in first. They got it in. Cut them off. They got to get there sooner. That wasn't quick enough. Bonus. Yeah, he'll be going to the line. There's uh, 5.4 seconds remaining. Well, yeah, if he makes the first, Coach Destel calls timeout. I don't think he can make a Marty. I don't think so. First free throw rattles in. He's going to get the second to tie up the ball game. Tom Desitel calling a timeout, trying to freeze the shooter. Well, what do you do here, coach? Well, I had this at the North-South game. I'm doing the same thing. If Wickman hits the free throw here, you take it out of bounds, you throw it to half court, and you call timeout. You have a play set up where you get one guy on one side of half court, and you come across and screen for him. You had DVC at the uh, North-South game. You have him throw a pass to half court. You call timeout. You have five seconds left. If he misses it, you just get the rebound and hold on to it. Don't do anything. Just hold it. You don't have to get rid of it. Let them follow you. Game over. But have a plan. You know, what am I going to do when it goes in? I'm going to run my, I'm going to want the ball. North-South game, they just inbounds it and ran, tried to get something down the floor, but... Gusky setting up in the uh, corner where he normally would set up. Pulaski has their two rebounders, Kalinski and Van Lannan on the line. Stengel and uh, Cassidy are in the inside positions for North. Get it to half They're court. All tied. Get it to half court. Let's get it to call half court and call time. Deep pass to Van Calligan. Looking, shooting. Oh my no. gosh. They're going to call a foul, Marty. Foul on the floor. Van Calligan with 2.7 seconds left is going to go to the line That's terrible. to uh, try and give North the lead. That's terrible. Shaw out on the floor complaining about the call, and he better be careful. You don't want to get a technical now, Coach. Wow, that's just Let's a see. bad call. Good pass by Stengel. Let the kid solve it. Where is he going to get a foul here? I mean, they backed away from the play. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let the kids finish it. They only got 30 seconds to get a man in. The foul was on. Uh, wow. That's Steedy a, had four. I thought they almost called it on Kalinski. He has four also. That's a tough call. 
You're right. And uh, looking at the replay, you know, it's uh, basically being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, what are you going to do? Well, I just think let the kids solve that one. I mean, unless it's a direct foul. I mean, DVC just tried to get it in, and his time was, uh, I don't think he was hit at all. I mean, he flung to the side. Yeah. All righty. We need some more free throws by left-handers. That's it. Game over. And not so quick, Coach. North has made uh, six free throws so far here in the fourth. They're six for six. Wickman from half court. If it goes, it's good. It doesn't. North has won 47-46 in uh, what was a very exciting basketball game. So fast, credit card guy. Savings man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, savings man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, savings man. No, thank you. Go visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. I love my husband, but I didn't realize our difficulties had to do with his drinking. Our pastor suggested I go to Al-Anon Family Groups. I didn't think I would be comfortable, but I decided to try a meeting. The Al-Anon meeting really opened my eyes. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon Family Group meeting from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON. Here we are back with uh, two Raiders. Let's say uh, Golden Raiders, because we, of course we played the Red Raiders, DVC and Ethan Gusky. Ethan, what a grind tonight. Holy cow. Yeah, it was something. I, we were just trying to stick together, just trying to get the easy basket, no fouls. At the end, we kind of got one, but we hit big free throws in the end to win it. That's a, re that's a really good point. I mean, they really try to control tempo. They really try to slow things down and break you guys down. And for the most part tonight, I thought they, you know, they did control tempo. Second half, you guys picked it up. But, boy, they're a tough team to play. Yeah, we were really out of our rhythm in the first couple quarters there. I, we had a ton of turnover, six in the uh, first quarter. And we really weren't doing much. We, we needed to play our game, which was just push it and push it. See what happens with that. Yeah, I know they try to break you down and screen you all over the place. And I know I thought what was good by you guys is you guys pressed them up and down the floor, trying to make them play faster, play faster. And you did create a lot of turnovers, but they got their chances. But in the long run, you guys hung in there. Yeah, we did. We played. <laughs> we played really well in the end. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're a tough team to play. Congratulations, Ethan. You did a nice job tonight. Boy, tough game tonight, <laughs> DVC. Uh, Defense, you guys was just outstanding. I thought you guys worked them really hard. Yeah, we did. You know, we coming in, we knew Pulaski uh, likes to slow Temple down, so we had to play their game. And I think we played their game pretty well. I mean, cut them out of lane for the most part, and uh, I was just a solid all around defensive effort. Yeah, and through the game too, it just seemed like it took forever to get the lead. I mean, it just like every possession, you guys had chances and chances. And I knew once you got over to Hump, it was all right. But boy, it took a long struggle to get there. Yeah, it did. You know it. We'd go on like mini runs here and there in the game, and then I'd look up at the scoreboard, and we're still down three. It's like it was never ending, but it was it was really glad to come out with the win at the end. Yeah, and I know what I think your plan was a little bit to try to drive penetrate, and they seemed to stop that a little bit, and then try to kick it out to Ethan or you know to Devin or yourself, you know, drive penetrate. But they really shut that from you guys too. Yeah, they did. Their Pulaski's are a very good defensive team. Um, they really know how to make teams play down to their level, and we were just fortunate enough to play better their game better tonight. Yeah, another thing I thought you guys did a nice job tonight was hitting the offensive rebounds. I think in the second half you had five, six, seven second chance opportunities. And in a game like this when it's so low scoring, every offensive rebound and every opportunity is big. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at halftime, uh, Coach really reamed this out because we weren't getting on the glass. So, uh, I mean, second half we really had a renewed effort and got out there, got some big rebounds. 
I think another key, and Ethan kind of hit mentioned as well, is you guys finally got the lead. I knew once you got the lead and got the ball, they're going to have to foul and you guys can hit your free throws. And it seems like anytime you get a clutch situation, you guys bang in your free throws. You had to hit one, hit one there, and uh, Devin hit those before that. Yeah, you know, in practice, coach always strives for uh, the free throws because, I mean, they're free. So practice those every day, and, I mean, this is what it comes down to right here in the game. Last question for you here. Senior, <laughs> what a start for you guys. I mean, it's just been an incredible run for you guys so far. You got, I know you're just getting to the halfway point, but, wow, what a season. Yeah, I mean, early, I mean, we knew we could have a really special season. And, I mean, games like these, when it's close, we got we to gotta pull it through to be special. Well, congratulations to both of you gentlemen. We'll see you uh, in a week against the pier. That'll be a big showdown. Uh, with that, we'll send it back to Marty. North the winner, 47-46, those final uh, few seconds of the ball game. North was able to uh, crawl up to a three-point lead, 44-41 on two uh, Devin Yerk free throws. And then uh, Pulaski came right back down and, and in quick fashion. Cody Wickman nailed a three, their only three-point basket of the game to tie it up at 44. North came back down. Yerk was fouled again. He made two more free throws for North, and they went up two, 46-44. Wickman came down, was fouled on a drive to the, to the front court, actually. He got fouled near half court by Yerk. He hit a couple of free throws to make it 46-46. And then with uh, the clock running down, Yurk took a long pass, inbound pass from uh, Stengel, drove it to the hoop, got fouled, made one free throw, and then uh, Wickman ended the game for Pulaski when uh, he missed a half-court shot. North the winner, 47-46, and a very exciting game. This Pulaski team tonight was much different than the Pulaski team that played at South last week. They gave a very good effort tonight. With the win, North goes to 11-2 on the season, 6-1 in the conference. Pulaski drops to eight and three and four and three in conference. They were led by uh, freshman Cody Wickman with 16 points. Uh, chipping in with 10 was uh, Luke Van Lannen, also a freshman. Uh, Wickman, by the way, is a sophomore. And then Kalinske, their lone senior, had eight. For North, they were led by their all-star Devin Yerk with 20 points. DVC, Derek Van Calligan, you saw him in the uh, interview at the end there. And Jacob Stengel, who did a good job on the boards, they each had seven. And uh, Gusky, Ethan Gusky, had six points on a couple of threes. Again, North, a winner, 47 46. Our next game, we're going to be right back here at Sheboygan North, where they take on De Pere. Uh, if you remember, first conference game of the year, North beat them, so this is going to be a big game uh, for the Northsiders to uh, try and maintain their uh, tie in the lead in the conference, at least in their division. For the crew, we've got uh, Scott Mailoff in the truck, spinning the dials, Eric Wiesman on the floor camera, Richard Bartson up here by me doing the top camera for my partner Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.